happened at this shoot? Look, I don't even know. I'm trying to get myself to look scared at the same time. I can repeat it for you. <gasps> I just can't do it, Drew. I don't even know what happened. I was just sitting there. I was backstage. I was like, come on, y'all. Help me do this. Everybody was like, okay. You looking scary or, oh no, you scaring me. I'm like, well, I can't scare you. Like, I gotta look scared, so. Well, was this competition scary? Throughout the whole entire competition, my mindset was whatever happens, happens for a reason. So I only go as far as I'm supposed to make it. So I just feel like God put me in this position for a reason and I feel like I'm in it as far as I'm supposed to go. What was it like living in this house? I'm the type of person where I only have four real friends in real life, so being around so many personalities, it was just so hard for me because it's like someone screaming over there, someone talking about you stole my oranges, someone talking about someone's man. I'm just like, oh my God, like this is a modeling competition, focus on modeling. So I'm just like, y'all too much for me. So I was just in my own little corner trying to focus, but I mean, you gotta have personality. I understand that your father was a big part of you being a model and really like pushing that and believing in that. I lost my father when I was 15 years old. I really don't know what happened and that was just ultimately just the worst for me because it went from having my dad, like my best friend, going to see him like almost every day. He was my prankster. We all did jokes all the time. He ultimately, he made me laugh more than anybody else in the whole entire world. And then it went from him kind of disappearing and the whole entire time he was disappearing on me, he was in the hospital, but he didn't tell me what was wrong. He said he was like away on a job opportunity. So I was just like, okay. And then it went from having my dad, having my best friend to having my sick father and fighting for his life. So, I mean, it was really sad for me, but he did believe in me. He was a model himself. So I think I got all of my good looks from him. Let's talk about, cause I know that we, we talked on panel mm -hmm. about that you have struggled with your weight. So many girls out there, so many boys out there mm -hmm. are struggling with their weight and what that's like. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? My whole entire childhood, I was like this small girl. And then out of nowhere, when I went to high school, I gained so much weight. It was during the time that my dad passed. I just went through a really depressed time in my life. I used to have mood swings. No one really could read me. And I just took that time to just eat. Like I ate everything. And then I moved to New York City and then that's when I moved to New York City to be a fashion designer. So then I started walking, I started taking care of myself and the weight just came off. So it's all in how you look at it. If you're trying to lose weight just to lose weight because you want other people to think you look good, you're not gonna lose weight. If you lose weight for yourself, it'll happen. And I think the other thing too is is, is this industry has changed so much. I yeah. think that so many people put such an emphasis on being stick thin and that type of thing. And in our competition, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, Ivana, Christiana, Ashley Graham. It's like we're seeing all different sizes. Do you feel now too that modeling is allowing girls of any size and shape in a different way than before? Oh yes, of course. I see that in all my magazines, all over YouTube, all over uh, New York Fashion Week. I love that they're bringing in and embracing what a woman actually is now. I'm gonna ask you some quick fire questions. Okay. And these are just, just rattle them off like that as I know you can do. Who's the messiest? Messiest in messy sloppy or messy in drama? Me <laughs> Wait, who's who's the messiest in drama? Oh, Christina. Christina. Who's the messiest in just a mess at the house? Gina. Gina. Her makeup is everywhere. Her hair is everywhere. Well, her wig. Her wig. I, like it's it's just, everything's everywhere. Oh gosh. Who is the craziest? Craziest? Ooh. Uh. I feel like Liz was kind of crazy. And um, what was it like standing in front of Miss Tyra Banks? Every time I came to panel, I was like, oh my God, I need my edge control. Like she just blew it off. And you too, man. Every time I looked you in the eye, you were like, I was like, Lori Riot, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty nice and fun. No, you are, you are, you are. Um, well, you're amazing. We will see so much more of you. Please keep that long hair. It looks fabulous I on will. you. And I wish you the best of luck. And Ryan is here to stay. And here forever. <laughs> I like it. Give me a hug. All Thank right. Thank you. Are you ready for more fabulous face-offs? Well, only the next level fear survives, so make sure to subscribe so you can follow along on the competition for the crowning of America's next top model.